All right, today we're going to be focusing on landscapes and lines too, and how we can use them to show depth and variety. And this is the example that I have too, and I'm going to show you all how to create something like this. It's not that hard if you listen and follow directions too, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So, first things first, what you're going to need so, you're going to need paper. So, right here. And you're also going to need a pencil. So I prefer to use a mechanical pencil because it allows you to draw lightly too. And that's one of my mottos in my class is draw light until it's right. Um, you can also choose to go over it with a black marker or a pen if you want. That's not required, but if you'd like to do that, that's totally fine. And if you need a straight edge, you can use a ruler. However, if you don't have one, you could use the end of an envelope. Or what I like to do is take a piece of paper, like a piece of typing paper, and fold it in half hot dog style, like this. So, and then you use the folded end as the straight edge. All right, so first step, we're going to create at least five different hills. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, each with a different set of lines too, just to add variety. So we're gonna do the first hill like this. I'm going to start with my pencil and I'm going to start towards the bottom right here on my paper and I'm going to make kind of like a curve line a little bit. Hi Mo. This is my cat Mo. Mo, get out of my lap. <laughs> um, I chose to do straight lines for my first hill. You don't have to do that. You can do other lines if you want. However, I'm going to do the straight ones. If you want to make it totally straight, like I said, use your straight edge. So I'm just going to go like this. And do it with the pencil first. And you see how I'm going nice and slow too? I'm not trying to rush. There's no rush with this either. So nice and slow. Take your time. And this is a project too where if you want to color it in, you are absolutely welcome to do that. You can use crayons, markers, whatever you have. So I have these lines right here, straight lines. Like I said, you can do different lines if you want. So I choose to do straight lines because, well, yeah, that's why. So we've got this hill in the front right here. We're going to do this one behind this hill. So I'm going to do the wavy lines again. So I'm going to do kind of like this, make it kind of look like maybe it's a, a river or something flowing. And again, you got plenty of time to do this, so take your time. So now that I'm done with this hill, I'm going to move on to the next one. So this one right here kind of trying to add some depth to my picture too. So this one's going to have the wavy lines going like this. If they don't look absolutely perfect, once again, that's okay too. And I'm going to remind you, when you're using your pencil, draw light until it's right too. If you press down too hard and you find that you don't like something, it's awful hard to erase it. But if you 
um, draw lightly, it's much, much easier. Alright, so now that I've got this one done, I'm going to focus on the next hill. So I'm going to make it go in the opposite direction too. You notice how I'm doing that with my hill. So this one starts and goes in this direction, and then this one goes in that direction. And I'm going to do this one like this. I'm going to start with my pencil point right here, and I'm going to go towards the end of my paper like that. And I'm going to add zigzag lines to this one right here. Okay, so I'm done with this hill, so I'm going to go ahead and do the last one. So I'm going to make this one go all the way across my paper. So making it kind of with a curvy line like this, or a wavy line. And then I'm going to do curved lines going all the way across my hill right here. All right, so now that I've got that done, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a castle. I'm gonna add a little bit to the top right here. So we definitely don't wanna leave this part or this part blank either. So I'm gonna start by making a rectangle. This is gonna be for the tower of my castle. So rectangle right here. I'm gonna make another rectangle, maybe make it just a little bit longer since I want to make my castle kind of level. Again, if you want to use your straight edge, that's up to you. If you want to go it alone, that's fine too. So I'm joining them together with this line right here. And I'm going to add some domes to the top.
And then I'm going to add another one in the middle right here. <laughs> a large dome too. Because why not? Okay. So I'm going to add some windows. Maybe put a cross shape in the middle. Make the door, but then, oh no, we need, we need a sun, we need clouds, we need a moon or something like that. So in the corner of my paper, I've got this right here. I'm going to erase that real quick. I'm going to draw a circle. Now, I don't like to make just any ordinary suns too. I like to decorate mine and I strongly urge you to do that with yours too. So I'm going to add this design right here kind of like a wave going around my sun and then let's add some clouds too now i like to make my clouds with swirly lines like this just kind of make them go around almost like in a circle or an oval. <clears throat> Just like that. Make a bigger one too. Or at least one that's behind it. And there we go. We've got our picture. Now, like I said, if you've got a marker, like a black marker or something, and you want to outline it, I would strongly recommend that you do that, too. It really brings the picture out. And if you look at the two of them together, which one pops out to you? So, I think the one with the black outline does. But if you want to color it in, too, you can go ahead and color it in. Do whatever you want, too. So, all right.